What's up everybody, coming to you with two movements that will keep your hip flexors healthy and in a lengthened position, whether you're running or you're just moving through your day-to-day -day activities. Now, two things to note. When we sit down, as most of us normally do in our day-to-day, -day, whether you're driving, whether you're uh, seated at a desk, or uh, just hanging out after, after work, two things happen. One, glutes go on vacation. These are the, the uh, largest muscle groups in the body, and when they go on vacation, lots of things can cascade in a negative fashion. So the second thing to keep in mind is that our hip flexors, which we're gonna address right now, your hip flexors, they, they shorten, right? They're, the, the point from here to here gets shorter on a, uh, from a tissue, from a perspective of the tissues, and after a while, your tissues start to say, hey, you know what? Uh, we're in this orientation often, so I think uh, we'll stay here because we feel like we're helping out. Um, and uh, biomechanically, no, you're not, because it's easier to sit, but we're not meant to sit. We're meant to run and jump and play. So, first movement, a kneeling hip flexor stretch. I would suggest using a dowel, if you'd like, or a broomstick, if you have, and you're going to put your toe right here on the, move this back just a little bit, right here on the chair, start from far away, lower yourself down, and you're, you're, you have a lengthened position between the knee and the hip. So what I want you to do as, the, you'll feel a stretch immediately, but the closer you can get your heel to your glutes here, the better off, the more length you're getting from your hip flexor. So you can move your foot, I'm sorry, you can move your, your knee back, you can move your hips back, and when this heel touches your glutes, you're good to go. Now another thing you can do um, is tuck your tailbone underneath and that will give you, you're already in, a, in an elongated position, so you're gonna take the tailbone, you're gonna tuck it underneath, and you're gonna pull this ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine, your hip bone, you're going to pull the origin of the hip flexor up and really get a healthy, deep stretch from that position. You can also shift the hips side to side because your, dre your stretches should be as dimensional as you are, as your muscles. Everything is three dimensional, so your stretches should be that as well. Start with just a 2D, then add that 3D hip shift if you'd like. Now the second variation, now the second variation is going to be called a couch stretch. Now this one is much more intense than the previously demonstrated hip flexor stretch. You're going to want to make sure that you master the hip flexor stretch before you proceed to the couch stretch. So what you're going to need is a couch. I'm using a chair here. And if uh, uh, this, this chair isn't super forgiving on the quads, so what you're going to do, I, I would, is I've got a handy pad here. You could also take a towel and roll it up uh, or that Christmas sweater that your uh, Aunt Esther gave you last year that you don't wear anyway, uh, except for the ugly Christmas sweater day at work. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna use a dowel or a broomstick. You're going to hike your foot back on the back of the couch, and then you're going to, you know what? I'm gonna take this pad away, just because the back of the chair isn't too high, but you understand uh, uh, how to use this. If not, direct message me, and, uh, and I will get you set up straight. So now what you're going to do is you're gonna put this knee back and down and you're gonna drop the hip flexor, drop the femur as close to the chair to where your, your hips would be as possible. And you can see this is an extreme angle, not only on the low back, but as well as the hip flexor. And this is where you're going to sit down into that stretch in order to lengthen out those hip flexors. Make sure that you breathe, don't uh, tense up. If it's too intense, then this is not the right stretch for you, okay? Um, hold these for two to three minutes for a lasting plastic change in the musculature. And have fun out there. The more you do these, the less you'll have to. So practice these regularly until they get easy.